Hey guys, Frontwoods Farmer, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're gonna actually take a little road trip. I'm standing here up in Allegheny National Forest. We're back up here again. You see the creek, you hear the creek, it smells great. Um, now real quick, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you like anything outdoors or blacksmithing or machine stuff or any kind of like just homesteading videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification next to the subscribe button, you'll get all my new videos. Uh, I'll give you a little quick close-up of what we're going to do today. We stayed at the uh, East Kinzu KOA right here off of Route 59. And this is just uh, east of Warren here and kind of southwest of Bradford. We're going to take Route 321 north. And we're going to go this way through the forest up to this 280. And we're going to check this out and go all the way up into New York a little bit and come back down as 202 and make our way back. Just kind of make a big loop. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys all these highlights on the way. Just see what we get into today. So, uh... Yeah, just stay tuned and it's gonna be a fun show today. Expensive to stay. Let's see what, what's that say? Closed to public use. Well, that's strange. It looks like a dump site, but we don't know.
it was on the right. So it was a little pull off with the trail. Oh yeah, so these are all tank camping sites. You must be able to, if you look way in here, there's people uh, just camping in tents. Branch off to where you can go all down this handsome lake, this Johnny Cake uh, Trail, Ridge Trail, and everything else. So, we want to try to get up to this Willow Bay and check that out. So, spend a little bit of time in here and then we're going to get back on schedule here. <clears throat> Alright, so there's a map of everything in here you can do and all the campsites no, and information and the loops where you pay this is where you find out where to pay oh here look so it's only twelve dollars for daily fee There's all the information i'll leave it up for a second you want to pause that don't touch a bird bud Somehow my kid found all these little robin eggs we're going to leave alone. Good find, buddy. Where's the envelopes? Lane, show us where the envelopes are. And that's where you pay. That's not our water. That's not good. We'll have to pick it up throw it out for somebody. Okay. And we're going to go mine. off on a trip. Hookups, Kristen. More informational displays. Yeah, they might not have electric. Bathroom. You'd have to find it. You could probably find it on a little bathroom. So this is a nice little campground. Uh, gonna probably flip around, and get back on uh, back on track on Route 321. But I think you could head through here and get all the way up to where we want to go too on these trails. Yeah, so we're thinking that that was a dumping site up front and it's not for public use. It's like for people that are staying here. So if you have a generator, you could have realistically everything that you had fill up your water tanks and nice, you know, little couple day visit. You just have to ration your water uses and things like that. So if you're a trail hiker, mushroom picker like a forager you like doing anything like that this is this looks like one of the places to be because according to the map you're right around water and actually the reservoir you can hike down right from the trail it's shown Back here we just saw there's a water pump so they must have some water that you can pump out and use to clean up or wash your dishes there's a lot of people camping this Memorial Day the weekend surprising there's a lot more campers than I thought there would be okay so we just kind of figured this out here so we came from that way there's that rock that we passed over here um, and we see the sign for where's that uh, the loops 
So what these do is they just loop, they loop. So there are a bunch of loops here. I don't know if you see that on the map or not. I guess you don't. Well, maybe, maybe they're just not a round loop. So I think what these are is all these loops here. All right, now we're gonna go back on 321. So we're gonna head out of uh, Tracy Ridge Campground. So we just showed you that and we're gonna head north. Well, we just spotted a deer, it's really hard to see. Can't show you guys. Back up a little, maybe. She's looking at us. She's still looking? Yep. Yeah, is it hard to see her? Yeah, there she is. So. Oh, I don't know if you can't really even see it on camera. I don't know I saw that. Yeah, no. Oh, well, she's back there. You guys can't really see her too good, or maybe you can. Let's see. Back up a little bit more. So yeah, there's a lot of wildlife out today, which is great. Now, I remember when we first came in, this is the loop we made, and it said not for public use. So, uh, public use. So I'm assuming this is the hookup. Let's see. Yeah, and that's what that is. That's a hookup. So this must be the dump. Yep, that's what it is. So now you got guys coming 35 mile an hour through here. It's 15. And then when people fly through here like cars, you know, that's when they start closing down the park to cars and you got to walk and things like that. So when you go through here, respect the rules, don't let her come through here 15 mile an hour really less 12 mile an hour 10 mile an hour they shouldn't have to set a speed limit there's kids running around and people walking yeah, and there's wildlife you don't want to hit that so back on 321 yeah so now we're going down that big elevation now This doesn't seem like it, but this is a really steep incline. So this would be like flat, yeah. And this is where we're gonna hit that 280 north coming up soon. This little stretch here, it's supposed to go straight and dog leg to the right, and we'll get on 280. Now we're coming up on leaving the national we're leaving the national recreation area. Huh. Didn't say nothing like that on the map, but I guess we I guess we left the recreational area. We just seen a sign. And we're still in the forest, but assume it's just a recreation area we're left. So that's a really, really big area. For a wreck area. Everybody has some boats. And here comes to where the intersection is. Somebody had a really nice camp down there. So I'm assuming that this is 346 right here, and I was calling it 280. So it must turn into 280 and be a 346 junction. So that's why we've seen the signs for 346. So change of plans, we're going 346 west, and that should junction with 280 north.
the bay here, or it's the camping. Yeah, this is National Reservation Area, Recreation Area, Willow Bay. This is what we're looking for. Okay, you had to pay five dollars to get in for the day. I don't know what there's to do, and they weren't very helpful. But we're gonna keep going. Aspen and Aspen loop to the left. So if that's a loop, let's go to the left first. We'll see what the Aspen and Austin loop is. Probably just campsites. a little parking pass. Yeah, Willow Bay, Hemlock Loop. Yeah, they got hookups here. They do? Electric, water. The sewer. Well, sewer. Looks like electric and water at least. Well, you can just empty your sewer. So there must be a bathhouse and you have electric. That's cool. And water, you said? Yeah, looks like they had, I saw a water hose hooked up, so I'm assuming. I mean, maybe not all of these have water, but those ones back there did. So these are like the yeah, campgrounds that are like up water. in New York. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. These are like the ones that, but New York they had that big body of water. It was nice. This is supposed to be, this bay is supposed to be right on the reservoir, so we got to be close to the water. This will make a leap. Yeah, that's right by the road. Yeah, it won't work.
so the phone just overheated. The only thing that we missed was a it was a tent camping area if you have a tent. So we're still gonna try to find the bay here. It's Porcupine Grove. Go check that out. Some picnic areas there. Oh, and there's the bay. Just left Willow Bay and the recreation areas and the trails. Uh, that was a really nice spot that we were going to maybe pass up, so I'm glad we didn't. That's definitely one of the places to put on your list to stay. You could swim, take your canoes down there. There's cabins and tent sites to rent, and you could even have RV hookups. Now it's saying that we're leaving the National Forest again, and we're continuing on. right now we're just uh they're welcoming us to new york there we go. in new york we're allowed to go 55 miles per hour it says and we're going and we're on 280 north now we're in seneca nation it's saying now that we're in New York and oh, it's a gorgeous view of the uh, reservoir. So it's like an Indian, uh, some kind of scenic reservation or something. So we made a left there at that tee. And this will actually, um, we're gonna check out and see if this is a little beach, but if you flip around, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, road right back into Bradford, but go all the way down through the park. All right, so last time, what we actually did was go up there and hit that interstate. We went through to the top of the forest, and now this way we're gonna kinda go sideways to make our loop, and then it'll bring us down into Bradford. So you're probably gonna have to pay to go through here. But on the other side, you'll see there's a lot of camping and recreation. And I believe that is that Quaker, that Quaker campground. Now he said, I believe that was Kane City. And that's where you want to find out about camping. So we're going to go down to the Kane City office and check that out now. And this is bringing us all through the park. 
So this is where we came in at, and this is where we're gonna go, these Route 3. Head that way, and we're just gonna loop around Bradford, around the Indian Pipe Trail. And we're gonna come back the same way. Or we may even, we could even get 219 through Custer City. People just put their shoes on, huh? Uh -huh. They have their shoes on. They're just sitting. The trailers. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Almost like a bus? Or no? Not like a bus. No, those are. You're talking about like the um, the coaches, head. the motor coaches. Okay. No, this this a trailer you pull. Camper. Oh, 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 oh,
we just passed the Indian Pipe Trail, and we're on the, I guess you would call it now, Route 3 through the Allegheny State Park. We could have, we just crossed where Route 1 was, uh, going to Red House towards Salamanca. So we're going to go east now and try to head down towards Bear Atford. So there's not really going to be a lot of attractions now, but there will be uh, some scenery and things like that that we'll share with you. And then we'll loop around Bradford and head back to uh, Lewis Run. So update, I think that was Route 2 we were at because we're almost into Bradford now. So we're going into Bradford and then uh, we, you could either head down 219 or come back through the forest again, uh, taking 346. Now you're passing some nicer camps and you're back into town and that's where you'd want to go to like the Walmart and things like that.
there shouldn't have been no streets that we passed.
What if you look at this versus going to 770 all the way around to get to Bradford? If we're right here, we could basically just shoot back up again. That's probably a quicker way to get there. Be true. 